Hey, so we here. So today I want to talk about Me Before You, the movie. I just saw it and I need to release all this fangirl that I'm, that I'm having inside of me because I really did enjoy the movie. I am going to speak at the, about the movie by itself on its own a little bit. Then I'm going to compare it to the book so, you know, you're going to have those bookish feelings. And then I'm going to tell you what's different and what I saw different from book to movie. Now, I'm not going to elaborate on everything because there were a lot of things that were different. Some things were altered. But I'm not going to elaborate on everything that was different in from book to movie. I'm just going to point out the most important details that I thought were essential to the plot line or just were essential per se. Um, but honestly, speaking about the movie on its own, on by itself, without it being compared to the actual book, I loved the movie. The movie had great acting. The movie was beautiful by itself on its own, honestly, I have to admit that. You had great acting by these two people that were just simply lovely together. They had such beautiful chemistry and I simply loved it. I love Lou, who is Elena, and I love Will, who was um, Sam. I love the portrayal of these two characters that I enjoyed reading throughout the book, but obviously comparing them on their own, they did an amazing job. And this is in my opinion, I can't see anybody else playing these roles. And you can give me a three, four hour movie on these two people and I will devour it because I really really enjoyed watching these two people just bring these characters to life and I really enjoyed that notion and I really enjoyed the movie even if I wasn't going to compare it to the book. On a side note, I am going to mention that there were scenes that if you didn't actually read the book, you were a bit perplexed because it was like, wait, but when did he lose his job or when was this happening? There were things that were eliminated, people that were taken out. Some of them I didn't care about, but others I will elaborate a few in a few minutes about. Talking about the bookish feelings that I felt for the movie, I really did enjoy the opening scene because the opening scene was exactly as in the book. Some things were altered, I am going to say that. I didn't mind that some things were like removed. You also have Louise's quirkiness her individuality throughout her clothes is the same thing as in the book you know that Lou is different head-on since the beginning of the, of the book you know that she's different and unique and her way of dressing is different and that was portrayed in the movie something that I really highly enjoyed I mean Louise weird jokes were there especially when she met Camila and her skirt breaking it, everything was there when Lou met Will I was fangirling completely because this was exactly as in the book and I loved it and I enjoyed it and I was like oh my god I mean I was laughing if I could have screamed in the movie theater I would have screamed I was like that's exactly as in the book I mean the picture scene was a little bit altered and this is when Will basically takes um, a broom if memory does serve me correct I think that he did take a broom and like smash um, the portraits he didn't bump into it that was something that was changed but then again I honestly really didn't care there were a lot of bookish feelings because when Lou shaved Will you saw that he didn't cut his own hair. That's the only difference that you you do see because he didn't even want to cut his own hair after all everything that had happened to him. The part about the racehorse scene, I really did enjoy that. But in the book, you had Will like being really reserved, really quiet because that's something he didn't like. And in the movie, he was a little bit chatty and there were some things that were reversed and some things that were like taken out or switched around. Um... It was okay, some dialogue was missing. I really wanted to see that dialogue because it was when she basically breaks down and asks these people to help Will because everything just went completely, completely wrong. But nonetheless, it was there and I enjoyed watching it. The one part that really gave me the bookish feelings was when she wore the red dress. When she removed the tag from his neck and she was like, oh, I'm glad it wasn't in your trousers. I was fangirling because I was like, oh my God, this is completely from the book. I was amazed and I was just laughing. And that scene where in the end he stays watching the castle, he's like, no, wait, I just want to you know have the experience of going to an orchestra with a girl in a red dress and it was something that was beautiful you also had Louise's birthday party which I thought that was very beautiful I did think that she overreacted but I love her overreacting the present was the same as she was giving in the book I don't remember it was Patrick if he really did give her a necklace that said Patrick I don't remember that one but whatever I, didn't, I don't care about Patrick honestly I just don't care about him but um the bumblebee tights I was like oh my god what it, she just I, I think she overreacted but I loved her overreaction honestly I loved the way she expressed herself she was like oh I want to try them on I was like yeah I did think that um when Will had his scars seen by Lou for the first time it was when he went on a six month doctor's appointment not when Nathan was taking out his shirt you know because he was sick and he doesn't register his body temperature the same way normal people do but I was that was the only thing that really did confuse me the beach scene is one that I really didn't Enjoy because it's one scene that I really loved from the book and when she's expressing herself that she actually says it some things were I think removed them if memory serves me correct but that scene where she says that oh, I'm pouring my heart and soul out to you and all you want to do is watch me see you get killed or something like that I'm paraphrasing of course was something that was very powerful because I really did enjoy that part that beach scene because it was very strong and what it did impact in Louise's life because no matter what she tried to do to 
him to change his mind convince him of the fact that you know not to kill himself or you know to end his life for everything that's happening to him she basically was met with a no or she was met with a wall you know he wasn't gonna budge on his decision he wanted to end his life no matter what so no matter what factor she was contrib contributing to this notion he was still gonna end his life and that was one point that I thought that was very pivotal for the book and it, for it to be included in the movie was something that i thought that was very enjoyable and something to really watch and that moment made me sob like you have no idea the wedding party scene was one that i really did enjoy there were things that were changed or altered um for the fact that will was very chatty in the book and in the party you know when he was talking to everybody and in the movie he was very reserved and he he was even talking to somebody in the book and what happened here in the movie was that they altered it so Lou can basically like talk to her but the scene that I really did love was the fact that they danced and the way they were dancing I was like oh my god yes this is so cute the only thing that I didn't like from the wedding scene or the wedding party scene or whichever one is the same thing was that she wore a blue dress and she didn't wear a blue dress to that wedding she wore the red dress that Will loved that's why she wore that dress because Will loved that dress but nonetheless a lot of the dialogue was there and I was content about it. The ending, that, that final scene, completely had me sobbing. That's one thing I'm going to say. But that ending, it was altered a bit because Lou, um, Will is the one who asked Lou to tell him a story. And it was this case, it was vice versa. But nonetheless, I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy having these bookish feelings because it was something that I thought that was very beautiful for it to be brought to life. And you watching these scenes just unravel in front of your eyes is something that I thought that was wonderful because here you are you read the book and then you want these scenes to be just so you can see them so you can fangirl especially at the certain moments that you really did love so some differences that I did see was that you know when Lou purchases the orchestra tickets she doesn't purchase them in the book they're given to Will by one of his friends that he is a member of the band of the orchestra there was no Georgina I so saw Will never had a sister or ever mentioned in the book you don't even know Steve is cheating on his wife that's something that's also never mentioned um, there was one one thing that I thought that was very pivotal for the movie and that is Richie there was no Richie and Richie is the guy is the quadriplegic from the chat room one thing that she really does you know discover while talking to him and a lot of things that he says that does impact her a lot which is something that I thought that was supposed that should have been included because it was one thing that I really did love because Richie did open her eyes to a lot of things there was no tattoo scene I really wanted to see that tattoo scene where um, Lou gets the bumblebee and Will gets um, that dates basically stamped on his on his abdomen I think it was if, I'm, if memory serves me correct and I was like oh man I really wanted to see that scene because that was one scene that I really did love because this is where Louis basically is changing you know? there's one scene that I really wanted it to be included in the movie and that's Lou's scene where she's at the maze and she's lost and she's thinking about what happened to her when she was young which is one of the scenes that's pivotal because it's one of the reasons why she becomes the way she is or how she dresses the way she is and I thought that was one scene that could have been included in the movie because it is very tragic and when Will comes to rescue her in the maze and, and you know he talks to her he does tell her a lot of things that was one scene that I would have liked to be included in the movie I honestly have to say that they kiss more in the movie than they actually did in the book. In the book, they only kiss once, and that is at the beach scene. That's it. That's the only part where they kiss. They don't kiss anywhere else aside from that. Even though I did enjoy it because, you know, I was completely fangirling. Like I said, I could have a three or four hour movie with these two people because I really did love their chemistry and their interactions. But they, to me, they kissed a lot, especially when how Will is in the book. You know, he's very self-determined, and he doesn't want to steer her in the wrong path. And, you know him kissing her a lot in the movie kind of like steered her in the wrong path there is a video that i did enjoy and that's one that lou finds in will's computer where he's very active and he you know it does show him that he travels a lot he, also when they're leaving the wedding that race that they have i was like what this is just it was just beautiful and gorgeous and i loved it but overall i really did love this movie i enjoyed it so 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 much i mean i fangirled so much i sobbed i laughed out loud because it was just a movie that was so beautiful and the ending the ending to me was just like in the book it was so beautiful just for everything to be captured and like i said there are some differences you do have a lot of bookish feelings but the movie is very beautiful and very wonderful to go and watch and i highly suggest anybody to go and watch this movie because the movie is very lovely and it's something that you're gonna enjoy take a lot of tissue because you are gonna cry I cried I tried to hold my tears but I was I was hiding the sob but I cried a lot because it was just something that I enjoyed watching I, I love the book the book really did strike me on an emotional level 
and I loved watching it unravel in front of my eyes so I really did enjoy the movie that's it that's all I want to talk about from this movie like I said probably like a million times I enjoyed this movie I loved it I want to thank you for watching if you want to comment down below and tell me if you watched the movie and you enjoyed it or whatever you want to talk to me about feel free right down below we'll talk we'll chit chat we'll gush well, fangirl, whatever. Um, that's it for my video. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.